Scene Script Welcome to Kev's Twisted Humor. Today we explore the life of the famous comedian George Burns. George Burns once said, Happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. Now let's dive into the life of this legendary comedian. Born in the bustling heart of New York City in 1896, George Burns was one of 12 children. His childhood was far from idyllic, marked by poverty and hardship. But it was these early experiences that shaped his wit, resilience, and his enduring spirit. When George was just seven years old, he found himself selling newspapers on the crowded streets of the Lower East Side. It was a tough job, but it was here that he first discovered his knack for making people laugh. The young newspaper boy quickly became known for his quick wit and infectious humor, bringing a spark of joy to even the dreariest of days. In his teens, George began performing small comedy acts in local venues around New York. Back then, he was known as Smiling Frankie Burns. He wasn't playing sold-out shows or starring in major films just yet, but he was honing his craft, gaining experience and slowly building a name for himself in the world of comedy. George Burns' journey from poverty to stardom wasn't easy, nor was it fast. But his story is a testament to the power of perseverance, the importance of humor, and the magic of dreams. And so, the boy who once sold newspapers on street corners to help his family make ends meet, was now on his way to becoming a comedy legend. George Burns didn't climb the ladder of success alone, he found his perfect comedic match in Gracie Allen. Their meeting was no less than a stroke of luck, a serendipitous encounter that would shape the future of comedy. George, an aspiring vaudeville performer, and Gracie, a talented Irish actress, found themselves sharing the same stage. Their chemistry was instant, their timing impeccable, and soon, the world was introduced to the dynamic duo, Burns and Allen. Their partnership was not just confined to the stage, it extended to their personal life as well. In 1926, George and Gracie tied the knot, intertwining their lives as beautifully as they did their comedic banter. Together they created an act that was as refreshing as it was hilarious, a perfect blend of George's straight man routine and Gracie's scatterbrained charm. They took their act from vaudeville stages to the airwaves, pioneering the sitcom format with their successful radio show. Their on-air chemistry was so palpable that audiences could almost see the twinkle in George's eye and the mischievous smile on Gracie's face. And when they transitioned to television, their popularity only soared higher, becoming household names across America. Burns and Allen, a match made in comedy heaven, were unstoppable, their chemistry was undeniable and their humor, timeless. The world was their stage and they played their parts to perfection, leaving behind a legacy of laughter that continues to resonate in the world of comedy. But what happens when half of a legendary duo is gone? For George Burns the show had to go on. Imagine being part of a comedy powerhouse making people laugh week in and week out and then suddenly, you're on your own. That was the reality for George Burns when his beloved wife and comedy partner Gracie Allen passed away in 1964. In the face of such an immense loss, many would have crumbled, but not George Burns. He was a showman through and through, and he knew he had to carry on, not just for himself, but for the countless fans who found joy in his performances. Burns faced a daunting challenge, transforming his career from a duo act to a solo performance. But if there's one thing we know about George, it's that he loved a good challenge. He successfully transitioned into a solo career, not just sustaining his fame, but elevating it to new heights. His talents weren't just limited to the stage and television though. Burns ventured into the world of cinema, and boy did he make a splash. His performance in the film The Sunshine Boys was nothing short of brilliant. His portrayal of an aging vaudeville comedian won him an Academy Award, proving that his comedic genius was not confined to a comedy duo act. But George Burns wasn't done surprising us yet. He took on a role that was as unconventional as it was iconic, playing God in the film Oh God. If anyone could fill those divine shoes, it was George. His performance was a perfect blend of wit, charm, and humor, traits that he had been endearing audiences with throughout his career. Burns proved that he was not just one half of a comedy duo, but a force to be reckoned with in his own right. So when we think of George Burns, let's remember him not just as part of a legendary duo, but as a versatile, resilient, and incredibly talented entertainer who continued to shine even when the spotlight was solely on him. George Burns, a man who had spent nearly a century making people laugh, was not done yet. His later years were a testament to his enduring love for comedy, he didn't hang up his comedic hat when most people would be considering retirement. No, George did the opposite. 
He continued to perform, to entertain, and to make people laugh, even into his 90s. His performances were a delightful blend of classic humor, sharp wit, and that unique George Burns charm that had audiences rolling in the aisles. But life wasn't all laughter and punchlines for George. The man who had spent his life spreading joy faced his fair share of health struggles. Yet even during these trying times George's spirit was unbreakable. His sense of humor remained intact, proving that comedy is indeed the best medicine. Then came the day, at the ripe age of 100, when George Burns took his final bow. It was a day that marked the end of an era, the closing of a chapter in the book of comedy. But even in his passing, George Burns left the world with a smile on its face. His legacy? A lifetime of laughter, of joy, and of the purest form of comedy. He left behind a treasure trove of timeless jokes, unforgettable performances, and an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Even in his absence, George Burns continues to inspire comedians and bring smiles to faces worldwide. And just like that, the world said goodbye to a comedy legend. But George Burns' legacy lives on, proof that humor never ages. His life and career serve as a shining example of the power of laughter, the resilience of the human spirit, and the timeless appeal of good, old-fashioned humor. George Burns, the man, the legend, the comedian, may be gone, but his laughter echoes through the ages, a testament to a life well-lived and a career well-played.